Good morning. Good morning. We didn't freeze to death. All is well. I didn't feel like it was minus eight degree. But then again, we had put on three sweaters, three pairs of pants, four pairs of socks, and a hat each. It's really noisy here now because buses are coming and going. Passengers are walking right by us to get to the restaurant for breakfast. We're trying to catch a moment when the buses leave to get out of the tent and uh, start uh, packing. So now we should try sleeping at minus 15 degree. I was even hot a couple of times last night. And you, Volodya? Yeah, overall it was comfortable. If you disregard all the layers we have on, it was difficult to turn inside the sleeping bag. Okay, let's get up. See you later. Shall we go on? Let's go. It's below zero degrees Celsius now. However, the cold here is nothing like in Ukraine. You don't feel it as much. Plus, it's sunny, so cycling feels pretty nice. It does happen when we are cycling up the hill that we sweat a lot and want to take our clothes off. As soon as we've done it, we can feel that it's actually freezing. So the weather here in East Turkey is contrasting. There is hardly any vegetation here. Stones everywhere. We've stopped near a river to make lunch and had to heat up our oven. We are burning petrol because there is no wood here. Having lunch in the wild is amazing. Despite the snow, freezing temperatures, we feel good today. The sun is shining in addition to our happiness. We have cooked lunch and we will be eating chorba. We have also made sandwiches, bread with butter and cheese. And on top of all that we will have garlic. By the way, Turkish people react kind of funny to bread with butter. I guess they don't eat it that way. Or only few of them do. Yesterday our new Turkish friends Murat and Sinan looked at bread with butter as if it were UFO of some kind. Then they tasted it carefully, saying Mmm, güzel. Let's see whether our chorba is güzel too. Wow, it's thick. Whoa! The oil has frozen. See? There is ice inside. How do I pour it? I'd like to tell you why having lunch outside, especially under the right circumstances, uh, like now, when the sun is shining, is so pleasant. We are fed up with eating in cafeterias and spending tons of money. We spend a lot of money in the cafeterias in Turkey. It can't be avoided. It either snows or rains or we are somewhere where one can't set up a fire and cook. But even in cafeterias we don't splurge and buy the cheapest stuff. Usually chorba and plow. Pilau is boiled rice. And tea. We always take tea. Also, finding something to eat for someone like me who doesn't eat meat is difficult in Turkey. 
There is a lot of meat. Kebab, kebab, kebab. I say, I don't eat meat. They say, here is chicken. Yok, not meat. Me. What do you mean, yok, meat? Anyway, that's Turkish people for you. <laughs>